Today we're going to work on Google Drawings. To access the Google Drawings file, either open the assignment and the Google Drawings file there, or you can create your own file by clicking New, scrolling down to More, and clicking on Google Drawings. You're going to want to create and share the Google Drawings file in your Google Drive. This is an internet-based program, so you're going to have to have internet access to use it. If you created a new drawing file, make sure you name your file. Once you have your blank file open, you're going to want to draw some shapes. To draw a shape, you're going to want to go to your shape tool. Click on that, click on shapes to get your menu, and you're going to navigate to the oval. Click on the oval and you'll get a crosshair. To draw your circle, you're going to left click and drag your mouse across the screen. The circle will not be perfect. We are going to adjust the dimensions so it is a perfect circle. With your shape highlighted, you're going to right click and get your drop down menu. You're going to navigate over to format options. Again, click on your circle to highlight it, right click to get your drop down menu, go all the way down to format options. You're going to get a menu and there's a bunch of different things here that we're going to look at. The first thing we're going to look at is size and rotation. We need our width and our height measurements to be the same. When they're the same, it means we have a perfect circle. The way they are now, we have more of an oval. To make them the same, you're going to change each measurement. So I want both, I want my circle to be two and a half inches. So I'm going to put 2.5 as my width and 2.5 as my height. And now I have a perfect circle. The next thing we're going to look at is the drop shadow. Drop shadow will add a shadow to your circle. You need to have the box checked off. You can pick the color of your shadow. You can pick the angle that your shadow will be at and the distance from the circle. Right now it has a sharp edge. I can blur that edge and diffuse it by using the blur radius button. Let's do another circle. Shape tool, your shape from the menu, pick your oval shape, left click, drag your mouse across your page. Again, we need to make sure it's a perfect circle. I would like this one to be four inches. If I close the format option box, I can access it again by right clicking on my circle and clicking format options. If I don't exit out, it will be available automatically for my next shape. I can change the color of my circle by using the fill color icon. This is the icon that looks like a paint bucket. I'm going to change the inside of my circle. I can also change the border of my circle. I'm going to make it red and I can change the thickness of the line around the circle by using the border weight button. So let's draw another circle. This one I want to be one inch. So I'm going to draw my circle, go over to format options, size and rotation, and I want this to be one inch wide by one inch high, my perfect circle. And I would like to make this one, let's see, light blue, again with a red border. And a border thickness of four. But this time I want to change it to a dotted line. So to change my border itself, I can use the border dash button. I can get a dotted line. I can have a dashed line a solid line. All these are all my options. To move my shape, I just click on it to highlight it, left click, and drag the shape. When I get it to where I want, I release the left mouse button. 
I can drag my original shape here as well. But because it was drawn first, it's going to be the bottom image. To bring my first circle forward so you can, you can view it, make sure it's highlighted, click Arrange and Order. You want to bring it forward. Okay. If I was to bring it to the front, arrange, order, bring to front, it's going to go in front of that little itty bitty circle that I drew. So you can adjust the order by clicking arrange, order. I want to send it backwards a little bit so that all of my circles are visible. If I was to draw a circle now that is five inches, I want a width and a height of five inches because my diameter has to be five inches. I want to make this circle orange and I want to have a border of purple and a thicker border width. I want this circle to be at the back. So I'm going to move it where I want to. I move it by clicking on it clicking on my left mouse and dragging across the screen. To bring it to the back, I go to Arrange, Order, Send to Back. And then I adjust my circle. If you would like all of your circles centered within each other, you're going to click on the left mouse button and drag your cursor across all of the circles so everybody is highlighted. I want to align everything center alignment and I want to align everything in the middle. That brings everything perfectly centered. I can align things so that they're all to the left. I can align things so that they're all top aligned and to the left. So you can play with your arrangement button and it will move things all over the page. If I have my circles all random, if I hit Control A, it highlights everything. Again, Control A highlights all my circles. If I want to arrange them in a nice order, align them so that they're all together, I can align center. I can align middle that brings them back into my pile. If I don't like what I just did, undo button. When you are done with your file, you can save it to your desktop by going file download. You can save it as a PDF file or you can save it as an image file. You can also take the take your drawing as it is and import it into your Google Docs file that I gave you. So open, you can open up the Google Docs file from your assignment, or you can create a new doc file, new Google Docs blank document. Again, create and share where you want it. Change the file name. To import your drawings, you want Insert, Drawing, and you're going to import from Google Drive. Again, Insert, Drawing, From Drive. And you're going to pick your file. Select it, and you're going to import it. You can insert it in unlinked. If you do that, um, your picture will stay the same. If you do link to source, whatever changes you make in the drawings file, will be changed in your doc file. And there you go, there's your picture.